The Most Admired Corporate Dealmaker Award is unique because it's an insider look at who the best dealmakers are by other dealmakers. So this is not the deal or analysts even coming in and saying this is the best deal maker in my opinion. It's the people who are on the ground who watch these guys every day, who work with them, who understand these transactions and are in a position to say this company among its peers really understood what it was going after, it understood how to integrate the deal, it understood what its long-term strategy was, it could articulate that strategy. In the pharma category, Abbott has won every year that we've given the award, and why? They keep doing deals that the market likes, and they keep consistently integrating and articulating their message about what they're doing, and it may take a little while for that message to settle in with some of the larger transactions. But Pyramel, it became very quickly evident to investors that this is going to give them massive leg up in the emerging markets, and that's where everybody basically wants to be right now. You have Disney, which has won two years, um, not consecutively. The last time they won was 2009, and that's an ex and they've actually won based on the clout of one deal in particular, which was Marvel Entertainment and the market really bought into that deal. They really saw this as a great diversification play for Disney and they really liked how they integrated the deal. JP Morgan is an example of a bank that is is able to manage risks in a way that none of the other banks have been able to accomplish in its space, and that has accounted for a lot. And in 2008, they made a really big splash buying Bear Stearns and Washington Mutual at massive discounts. And that actually was quintessential Jamie Dimon. Um, Jamie Dimon knows how to go in, spot bargains, and make the deals work. When it came to ExxonMobil's recent acquisition of XTO Energy, now that was very interesting because that was a deal where, once again, they surprised the market. People thought, what are they doing? And they articulated that this was part of a longer term strategy, that they needed to diversify the revenue stream, and that this was a prize opportunity for them. And they also were able to go in and take advantage of what the expertise was within XTO, which is to leverage other opportunities within that space. Oracle won because they bought Sun Microsystems last year, $7.4 billion, and it was for them a transformational deal. I mean, it basically took them into a whole new area that they saw they needed to grow, and investors liked what they saw. For more on the most admired corporate deal makers, check out the September 19th issue of The Deal magazine. Go to thedeal.com slash most admired.